Emma, three points in the bag. You remain top of the league, and we just heard seven consecutive um, wins. That is a women's Super League record. How happy were you with today's performance? I just feel the teams coming into its top form at the right time, and everyone's contributing. Uh, goal in the first half, brilliant take from Jesse Fleming. It came at the right time, and second half I thought we were devastating everything. Our movement, we were ruthless in front of goal, brilliant from the front two. Uh, but the whole team, the fact that we haven't conceded a goal is, is really pleasing. And as you say, Reading did hold well for 40 minutes as you were expecting, but you did break through, and the goals came thick and fast. How good was it for you to see everyone having fun out yeah, there? Yeah, it felt relaxed, to be honest with you. Even at Neil Neil, I felt like the team were uh, patient in its approach. We had to wear everyone down. Um, just waiting for the Sam Kerr somersault. She's on the right of me here, which, which didn't quite come. But Harry's waiting for it. And quite noticeable, we didn't have G or Lauren today. Yeah. Any update on them? Uh, G had COVID. Uh, Lauren's a bit tight in her groin. I think they'll both be available after international break. And fans were back in force tonight. Some of them as far as America came to see you tonight. How much of a difference did that make? It's amazing, but it's even even greater that Sam Kerr's family were here from Australia and they got to, to witness her uh, score goals today. They've come a long way to watch that. Now we do have four Women's Super League fixtures left to go, but fast the international break for many of the players. Are you looking forward to having a bit of a rest? Yeah, I always love this time, but I'm really super pleased with the whole squad. Everyone's done so well in this period and we go into the break in the position we want to be in. Sam, two goals for you tonight and a big win. What's your take on the performance? Yeah, I thought they made it um, difficult for us in the first 45 minutes. We had to grind out a goal and then we just said at halftime if we... Um, you know, took a bit more care in the final pass that we'd score loads more and um, we did. I think everyone played really well and um, yeah, it was a good 90 minute performance. And you're the first player to score in seven consecutive double cell games. How does that feel? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's nice. Obviously, we're in a really good form at the moment as a team. So if I'm contributing um, as a striker every week, it's yeah, it's nice, I guess. <laughs> 14 goals in two games for the team. Just how important is it that finding this form towards the end of the season? Yeah, I think this block was really difficult for us. Um, a lot of injuries, a lot of people out. So um, I think finding this form now is giving us loads of confidence going into the final push before the end of the season. And um, yeah, everyone's playing really well. It's not just the team, you know, clicking. It's everyone is playing at the best of their ability. So um, it's a good team to be a part of right now. Four league games left. Are you feeling confident? Yeah, we're feeling really confident. Like you said, we've been banging in goals and it's not just been one player, it's been everyone. Um, everyone's contributing and um, international break now, so hopefully everyone stays healthy and then there's no reason why we can't go and win every game that's left. How ex exciting is the title race this year for you as a player? Yeah, it's exciting. I think it kind of feels similar to last year. It's obviously one point tighter, but we are in this situation last year with the City, so um, it's nothing new to us, and we're just focusing ourselves one game at a time. But as a player, this is the type of season ending you want, um, so we're enjoying it.